Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another Is It Worth It video where I usually will look at a really hyped fragrance in more recent years and let you guys know if it's still worth buying now for the year that we're in, 2023. Is it worth your money? Is it something that you want to invest in? Uh, maybe you've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about it. Maybe your friends have talked about it, whatever. It has some hype surrounding it. You think you want to buy it. My hope with this video is to help you determine if it's something that you actually want to own or is it just hype? And today's fragrance that we are talking about is one that is fitting that bill perfectly. Since I'm talking about is Mugler's Pure Malt. So I'm going to spray this on skin. I'm going to give you my opinion of it. Is it worth the money? This also just happens to be a discontinued fragrance way up in price as of recently. So is it still worth that price hike? I'll let you guys know. Let's try it. So a men's pure malt from Terry Mugula. Is it worth it? Well, I have to tell you, I personally bought into the hype of this fragrance, which is why I purchased it. It was obviously, it's a little more difficult to find, but at one point, this fragrance was available at rack stores for $40, okay? The, the Amen line were popping up at rack stores and people were getting them much cheaper than what you're paying now. As these have been discontinued, and I use that word in quotations because yes, it's discontinued, however, you can still get this. If you wanted to go online right now, you could buy this, uh, but at a price. At, recently, I saw it as high as almost $200 on eBay. I paid just under $100 for my bottle when it came into stock uh, on an online discounter. And I was sold on the hype of this. Whiskey, coffee, sweet notes, woods, vanilla, musk. I mean, how can you miss, right? It sounds like an amazing fragrance, pure malt. It just, you know, I was expecting maybe something borderline going on. The first time I wore it, I was left thinking to myself, well, is that it? Let's take a look at the atomizer really quick. I've never really knocked Amen for their atomizers. I know a lot of people have trouble with this because it is hidden in there and you have this sort of uh, faux rubber uh, composite uh, that covers the bottle itself and the actual atomizer is under there. So you gotta kind of find it and then spray accordingly. But I've never really had an issue with it personally, so I don't wanna knock it for that. I mean, in the air, to, to be honest, it's nice in the air. Uh, I think on skin is where um, it just, comes up short for me and I'll I'll break it down I'm gonna put this on skin and I'm gonna smell it and just kind of walk you guys through with what I get I'm not certain this one's worth it but let's check it out I'll tell you guys what I get from it I know this is gonna upset some people because look there's a probably a reason there's some hype behind this people really enjoy it and I'm gonna tell you the things I don't like about it I'm gonna tell you things I like about it and we'll see in the end is it worth it for you personally? So my favorite part of this fragrance is in the opening. The, the fruity notes it has. What took me back, I think, was the amount of woods that I pick up in here. And I'm not necessarily opposed to woods. I like woods and it's one of my favorite parts of perfumery is how woods are used in certain fragrances. But I think in here, they come across synthetic, which is really unlike anything else I've smelled. Now it's not bad it's not it you know this i should preface this whole thing by saying there's nothing foul in here there's nothing that turns me off necessarily it just it comes up short in terms of what i was expecting so does the height meet reality and that's sort of what we're all looking at right is it worth all the discussion all the hype the top 10 list is it worth it, it i you know I understand there's something intriguing about it, but overall it's pretty simplistic. It's not overly complex. As those sweet fruity notes start to fade, again, more of those woods come out and they just, it's kind of dampened. Uh, the, the rest of the scent is kind of dampened by those woods. So there are moments where I might pick up some vanilla. In, in terms of the whiskey smell in here, uh, when I first spray it, I get the whiskey. And it's really nice. I think it 
uh, blends really well with those fruity notes, that sweetness. But it's short lived. Now, I don't know if older formulations actually do a better job with that, having those aspects of the scent last throughout the life. Uh, but for me, they quickly fade and they're just sort of hints and remnants of it throughout the rest of the life of the fragrance. Overwhelming this scent is those woods. The notes from Mugler's Pure Malt. Top notes are fruity notes, orange and bergamot. Mid notes are malt, whiskey, patchouli, coffee and cedar. And the base notes are peat, vanilla, amber and musk. You know, the notes too, you look at that list of notes and it's very intriguing, very interesting, which builds the hype for this scent. Again, I don't know if I'm a victim of reformulation. I bought this bottle uh, at the end of 2021, I wanna say. So I'd have to investigate and look at the batch code. I do have the original box. I, I don't know if the batch code is actually on the bottle itself. Not from what I can tell. So I'll have to look at the box and go dig it out and see where it uh, is in its formulation. But I think I wanna say that it was a newer bottle. So that could explain some of this. Does Is this something that needs to macerate? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What's your experience so far with pure malt and maceration and older versus new formulations? But again, can I recommend this scent at the price that you would pay? $190, $200 on eBay right now. No. I don't think it's worth it. Not at that price, it isn't. If you can get it for under sub $100, you're getting closer to what I think this is worth. But even that is on the high end. There are much better fragrances, in my opinion, that do similar things in the $100 price range. Now, that just leaves it with the hype of the fragrance. To purchase something based on hype, it's not something I like doing. I'm going to be sure to link down below. You can get a sample through SenseSplit. I use that site all the time for all my uh, samples and decants. So I would suggest trying this. In terms of longevity, it's not great. I get maybe average to just below average longevity. It Again, if I let this sit five or six hours and smell it off my hand, basically all I'm getting is woods. Um, so a little disappointing there. As I said, I know that a lot of people are gonna be upset because again, super hype fragrance. Everyone talks about it. People buy it, they wanna love it. For me, it's average. It's average at best. I'm gonna to continue to wear this because there are times where I've hated fragrances and end up really enjoying them. So, and you guys know, if you've been collecting for a while, if you have a lot of fragrances in your collection, that probably has happened to you as well. So I want to just sort of give you the heads up on the fact that I will continue to wear this. I'll continue to include it in weekly wears videos. In terms of seasons, I think it's kind of a year rounder. I know a lot of people would think wintertime scent, um, but I think you can get away with this on a warmer summer night, uh, or I should say a cooler summer night. I think you could get away, away with the scent for sure uh, because it is pretty, linear and basic. I mean, I, I, I hate to talk so harshly about it because I know how many people love this one. So don't take offense, but it's just one person's opinion. Don't base it on just my opinion. Go to SenseSplit, grab a sample, try it out for yourself. Again, opening, great. Really like the opening. Just wish that lasted longer and wish it was a little more complex and interesting later in the dry down. But that's my opinion right now of Mugler's Pure Malt. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your experience with Mugler's Pure Malt? Do you own it? What did you pay for it? What is it worth to you? Let me know. I'd love to know your experience with it. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.